Hi guys, welcome back to another recipe episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy and today I am going to show you how to make something absolutely delicious that your kids are going to love. Um, it is summertime out, the kids are out of school and I know you're looking for some quick dishes to pull together. Today we're going to make a version, my version of cheeseburger macaroni. I know when we were little growing up, um, my mom cooked all the time but we thought it was a big treat when we got the little hamburger helper. Um, little boxes of cheeseburger macaroni. I always liked them. I I did. I did. I really liked them. I liked every flavor of them. And um, today I'm just recreating the cheeseburger macaroni for you guys because I know that you're going to like it. Your kids are going to love it and you know everybody's going to be happy. So let's go ahead and get started. All right what I've already got going on here is I've got um, about a pound of ground chuck in my pan here. Now, if you wanted to, you could use ground turkey if you're looking to do a little bit healthier version of it. Um, but I've already got it cooked just about all the way done. Normally, I like to drain the um, grease off of it, but it really didn't render that much fat. So we're just gonna keep it in there. It's gonna add just a little bit of extra flavor, you know? I mean, really, there's not like a, it's less than a teaspoon in there, so I'm not even gonna bother. Dogs are playing in the background. And then we're also going to use um, some white onions and I got one clove of garlic here. This is just a small onion that I've got cut up, just diced it up. I'm gonna throw that in there along with that um, one clove of garlic. And then we're just gonna stir that around. And we're gonna continue to cook this um, until the onions start becoming just a little bit nice and translucent, which only takes just a couple minutes. And that little bit of extra grease in there, a little bit of um, fat that rendered in there, it's gonna help um, you know, soften those onions right up. All right, this is absolutely perfect. And then what, what you are going to do next is you're gonna add a whole can of the beef broth. And this is 14.5 ounces. You're gonna add a whole can of the beef broth. This is what's gonna cook your pasta. You know what's really good about this recipe too? Um, it's a one pot meal. And I know you like one pot meals. I love one pot meals. Now again, that was about a pound of ground beef, um, just a small onion diced and one clove of garlic. And add, um, you're gonna add about a cup of milk. And you're gonna give that a stir. Feel free to double this recipe for, um, you know, quick leftovers, quick meals a couple days later. This is one of those things the, um, you know, the day before, it's even better the day after. Um, and this is the cheese that I'm using today. This is the little block of Velveeta cheese. This is eight ounces of Velveeta cheese. I'm using this whole little box for this. And then we are using about a cup and a half of um, noodles. You can use any type of noodles you want to use, but today I am using these uh, little baby shells. I like macaroni. I like macaroni to use with it. And then I have just cut my um, cheese up in just nice little chunks so it should melt perfectly fine. Now, what I'm using today um, to go in this is my signature blend seasoning look at that if you have not ordered this you better get on my facebook fan page and order this it is phenomenal you will love it and you're just going to add about i don't know a couple shakes of that in there it's going to season it nicely um it has a lot of my different a lot of my different a lot of my favorite um ingredients in it salt garlic Paprika, onion, black pepper. I mean, this is truly um, delicious and it's well worth your money. Um, I think it's only like $7 right now on my Facebook fan page. Go to In the Kitchen with Sandy um, and, and make sure you buy some of this. This is absolutely phenomenal. You will love it. Trust me. And just give that a stir. I'm not going to add any additional salt or pepper because, like I said, my signature blend has salt and pepper um, already in it. We're just going to give this a stir and once this comes back up to temperature um, starts to boil we're going to add our pasta okay that has come to a boil so now we are going to add our pasta right in there just give it a nice stir and 
This is so good. You're really going to like this. Your kids are really going to like this. Like I said, you can vary it up any way you want. Um, as you can see, I cut the Velveeta in the nice little chunks there. I'm just going to go ahead and add that in. Put another stir. Look at that already. And then we'll put the lid on it and I'm going to let it cook for a few minutes and I'm going to stir it, um, you know, intermittently. Or occasionally, and we're gonna let this cook for probably an additional 10 minutes until the pasta is nice and tender, and then we are going to dig in. All right, I want to look inside that pan, get a look inside there at the deliciousness. I let this cook um, for about seven to eight minutes, and then with the lid off, I forgot to tell you, cook it with the lid off. Um, and then I pushed it to the back of the stove and put the lid on it to let it soak up some of that um, delicious juices that are in there. The longer it sits, the thicker it will get, but this is absolutely perfect for me because as you can see, um, it's still real nice and creamy and um, you know, you get a little bit of juice in it and it's not really dry. This is perfect and it's beautiful and it is so tasty. I've already had like a couple bites out of it. I couldn't wait on you guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley just for color. Add as much or as little as you want. I'm gonna give it a stir and we are going to get us a nice big bowl of it. Mm. All right. Just go ahead and spoon us some out in a bowl. I'm so excited about this. And again, you, you know, you could alter this um, you know, to make it however flavor that you like. If you wanted to add a can of tomatoes, you could add a can of petite diced tomatoes. That would be amazing. You could add a little bit of um, crushed red pepper flakes for just a little bit of heat. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Let's eat. Look at it again. Look how pretty that is. It is nice and beautiful and delicious and hot, you know what it would really be good in this? Some mushrooms. Hot. Mmm, really hot. That is really good. And what I like about it, make my nose run. What I really like about it is when you add the um, beef stock into it, after the hamburger is cooked and you bring it to that up to back up to a boil, it breaks the hamburger up, the ground check a little bit more, kind of makes it into smaller um, pieces and more tender, if you will. This is so good. One more bite. Mmm. Make sure you put this recipe on your menu very soon this week. I certainly hope you like it because we like it. I know your kids are going to like it, so I appreciate you watching. You know that. You know I love you guys so very much, um, and I'll see you on the next recipe episode. Bye.